we'll do set 3 of radiology spotters for other spotters visit our page spotter will be displayed for 30 seconds answer will be discussed after each spotter so the first spotter is This was Wilms tumor. Here we can see a heterogeneously enhancing mass lesion in the abdomen, quite large. There is no fat or calcification within the mass. This is a one of the childhood tumors, and it shows beak sign with kidney, showing that it's of renal origin. This is ulcerative colitis CT. We can see the inflamed thickened bowel. We can see the thick bowel wall and there is loss of hostations which gives rise to leg pipe colon. Mainly happens because of hypertrophy of muscularis mucosae. An easy one, it's small bowel obstruction, abdominal x-ray, we can see dilated bowel loops. The cutoff is small bubble 3 cm, large bowel 5 and cecum 9 cm, we can see abnormal air fluid levels. This is a case of retroperitoneal lymphoma. We can see a near homogeneously enhancing retroperitoneal mass lesion which is encasing the vessels. Here we can see bilateral renal arteries encased by the tumor and is compressed by the tumor but there is no infiltration. That's called as sandwich sign. emphysematous cholecystitis we can see the air foci in the gallbladder wall and lumen in the shape of gallbladder itself This is striated nephrogram. We can see alternate bands of high and low attenuation on CT, especially in the nephrographic and urographic phase. This happens in acute ureteric obstruction, pyelonephritis and renal vein obstruction. There are many more causes also.
This was emphysematous gastritis. Here we can see the air foci within the wall of the stomach in the shape of the greater curvature of the stomach happens because of infection by anaerobic microbes. This is adult polycystic kidney disease with polycystic liver disease. Multiple variable sized water attenuation cystic lesions are seen in liver usually do not have any septations or solid component. We can see this is also in kidney and this criteria for um, adult polycystic kidney disease that is ravine criteria you can read up. inflammatory bowel disease that is Crohn's disease here we can see deep mucosal ulcers filled with a barium contrast and we can see abscess ulcers here the case of amoebic liver abscess why because there is peripherally enhancing collection or cystic lesion in the liver which points out that it's an abscess right lobe is more characteristic for amoebic abscess and it can have extension to the lung as seen in this case for more such spotter videos and other videos follow our page on youtube and instagram